It's in the scoop. I think. Oh, there it is. There it is. It doesn't actually collect stuff, huh? It just resurfaces it, right? Yeah. All right, first signal next to the volleyball net. I'm kind of gridding it a little bit, doing like lines. 37. Oh, there it is too. Man, I started off the hunt with one of these things last time too. Just a common find at the beach, I guess. It's a piece to a zipper pole. Nothing too crazy. All right, my first really good signal underneath the volleyball net. Probably spent 15 minutes hunting them so far. Oh, please, that one's got promise. 61, 63, it sounds really good. 61, please don't be a penny. Try to sift it out in here. First like promising signal. Oh my goodness. Oh, is that gold? No, I don't think that would, dang it. I don't think it would have ran it right up that high if it was gold. Oh, that looks good though. <laughs> yeah, I think that's junk. It's a little bit windy out here today too. My hat's about to blow down the lane. I don't know, we're gonna have to keep a little bit of an open mind to that one. I have a little bit of doubt though, but it gives me a little bit of hope. My first piece of jewelry by the volleyball courts. I still have two more to hunt too, so let's keep hunting around here. Try to do a decently thorough job before we move down to the water. Another piece of foil, junk. Still a little bit sketchy. Ah, uh, there's a red pull tab, the rare red pull tab. Some junk. Got to dig a couple of these karma points on the way. Right here in the volleyball in that area, a rusty screw. That's just what you wanted when you're playing volleyball, huh? <laughs> some tetanus to take home with you. So there could be some resurface then, huh? I dug up stuff that's been in there down for quite a while. Uh-huh. I've been always curious too about like this beach rake. I didn't know if it was one of the ones that actually collected stuff. Get a little bit of a shot of it real quick. It doesn't actually collect stuff, huh? It just resurfaces it, right? Yep. Okay, nice. Yeah, we're over there that other beach. We're pulling a lot of the yeah one of the uh, county employees was just talking to me for a little bit his name's tim he's a super cool guy shout out to tim let me get some shout outs to tim in the uh the comments box he was giving me a little bit of information about the beach and like who's been here what's been going on this one sounds like some booty right here but I got you guys a shot of his little like scraper. I was always wondering if uh, the scraper actually like collected stuff or if it just kind of fluffed the sand up. And from what he was telling me, it actually just kind of fluffs the sand, kind of brings the stuff to the top of the surface again. So you never know, it's windy out here. My hat is blowing off, but we're doing the best we can. Let's keep on hunting. I'm gonna hunt by these volleyball nets and then we'll go down there a little bit, a little bit further down. <laughs> Woo, sounds crisp. Still in there. Listen to that. Best sounding signal all day. What's it gonna be? <laughs> it's a pull tab. That's definitely the reality of the hunt right there, huh? It seems like the pull tabs, they never fail. They sound pretty dang good. The jewelry doesn't always sound that good, but we're trying to dig up pretty much everything that beeps out here, so doing a little bit of meandering trying to find the hot spot right now there's a nice high conductive signal it's a high ringer 68 69 see something possibly round right there all right i think that's actually our first penny of the day kind of weak but coins they've just been slow lately everyone's using bitcoin <laughs> pretty nice one right here by the uh, water line high ringer actually yeah we're definitely going to check out this water line this thing might have promise come on sift them out getting a little bit of i don't know if i'd call it wave action at this location but the water's going a little bit there's a dime roosevelt 10 sets closer to the gold doubloon. There's a nice high conductive right here. It's still kind of by the water, so let's dig up a couple more um, right here in this like sandy area. 
Seems like I could be in a small patch right here. And then we'll definitely jump in the water. I don't know if the water is going to hold anything more for us per se, but that one I think is a 1965 dime. It figures. Never lucky with the silver, but let's keep searching. Another 80 right here. 80 make it gravy. Did that even rhyme? I don't think it did. <laughs> Come on, please. Silver? Nah, another uh, Roosevelt dime. I guess the coins are coming out a little bit quicker, which is, you know, that's always a good sign. I know uh, I dig Daytona has been having a little bit of trouble finding stuff out at his uh, East Coast beaches even, so we're not alone over here on the West Coast. I think it's slow pretty much everywhere we go. There's a lot of metal detector users, which I think contributes, but also maybe just people aren't losing like as much change. Something in here too, come on. It's another coin, old honest Abe right there. And I think that's it on that one. So, all right, the coins are coming out just a little bit more plentiful, which makes me happy. At least we can have some coins at the end of the day. Got a little bit of jewelry, some coins. See something down here, I don't know if it's jewelry or, it's like a ball. Oh yeah, okay. It is, um, I guess essentially some type of jewelry. Looks like a body piercing of some type. Ooh, it's got a stone in there actually. You guys see the stone? Probably not. Camera doesn't do a very good job focusing, but I think it's a belly button ring right there. Another little piece of jewelry. First piece of jewelry by the wet sand. So let's keep going. Still by the wet sand, but I'm hoping we're still gonna hop in the water. I just don't know how cold it's gonna be. Like, it's a little bit windy here, so I don't know. Is it gonna be too cold to get in the water? Ooh, it's a little bit chilly in there. <laughs> it's a little bit chilly in there. Screamer right here. Right on this little uh, drag line that he made. A little bit deeper. It's out of the hole. Still looking for a ring out here today. I did find one out here, uh, I think like two days ago. So I'm still kind of trying to push myself. Still trying to find some goodies. Alrighty then, I think we're going to hop in the water now. Mostly up in the dry sand. It is unfortunately just scrap, you know, a lot of garbage up in the dry sand. Could be uh, some good stuff hiding in there with it, but I'm just a Pringles wrapper. Basically at this point, we're just cleaning up after everyone else who's been at the beach. So <laughs> try to hop in the water, see if we can pull any signals in the water at all. Probably been down here like an hour and 30 minutes now. Have not found like the craziest amount of stuff. A couple small pieces of jewelry. Cleaned up some, some garbage for the uh, karma points. All right, I finally stepped in the water. Got a questionable one right here. Bounce it up to 30. Really shallow right now. We're gonna probably start with the shallows and then we're gonna move a little bit deeper, I think. This one, first signal in the water, pull tab. Okay. <laughs> one thing I will mention about this coil is it seems to like slice through the water pretty good. Usually the shallow water is kind of hard to like uh, swing through because the resistance. Yeah, like even that one, ugh. That piece of foil, like I was barely even getting a signal on that one. I kind of just scooped it just as a curiosity. Oh man. So in the water, I'm running five tones. I have been pretty much all day. I'm gonna try out pitch mode in the water, maybe to be alerted a little bit more by signals. We'll see how it works. 
All right, here's what pitch tone sounds like when you go over a signal. Listen to this. Holy moly. I don't think you're gonna walk by that one, but it kind of sounds like a uh, window cleaning or something. <laughs> kind of like squeaky. My hat is about to blow off in this freaking water. Whee! How do I keep it on my head? <laughs> Put it on this way. Sideways, look like a complete and utter imbecile. <laughs> Come on. I'm trying to detect and keep my hat on my head at the same time. I think we got it on our first scoop. <laughs> what is it? It's a coin. Come on with the coins. 1962 penny though. 1962D. Is it rare? Any of you coin collectors know? <laughs> I know sometimes modern coins can be worth money though. You guys know of anything off the top of your head that's worth a lot of money? Like any modern coins? Give me some tips so I know what to look for out there. I'm still going. I'm still working the shallow water. Um, I have my waterproof headphones so maybe... Uh, when we get a little bit deeper, if we get a little bit deeper, we can put on our headphones, but... Yeah, for right now, we're just kind of meandering, digging here and there, you know. Digging a couple iron signals, not digging every single one, but... I want to save the kitty's foot. <laughs> I know I was even in this water like a couple days ago without waterproof, um, or water shoes, I should say. It's kind of a little bit sketchy walking around in here barefoot because you know the amount of iron in there. What's that thing? Huh. That's an iron signal, but it's kind of a unique shape. I'm not sure what it's off of. Some junk, I guess. <laughs> At least that one wasn't a nail. Been finding like a lot of nails and like sharp stuff out here. Tent stakes even. Sometimes when a tent stake sits under the, uh, the sand for so long, it gets really sharp like a nail. So, let's keep swinging, low and slow through the water. Try pitch tones for a little bit longer, then we'll maybe even switch it again. Let's switch it from pitch to two-tone, huh? Simple. That makes it an iron tone, and then you're going to get a, uh, a good tone on your other tone. So, let's see. Two-tone way you can tell people have actually been using an area at least. There's a bobby pin. Little hair clip, hair pin. All right, so I'm not quite in deep, deep water yet, but we're going to make a uh, preemptive move here. Is that the right word? <laughs> we're going to plug in our waterproof headphones real quick. These are a generic pair I got on the internet, so uh, if you guys are looking for a pair like this, uh, do a Google search on like MindLab Equinox waterproof earbuds and see what you come up with. Just be careful because these are not like an official MindLab product, so they've worked for me for a while though. I used to use them with my Equinox 600, but they're uh, dual purpose. They also work for the Xterra Pro. So, let's see here. Right in there. About like, I don't know, thigh deep, I guess. Oh, it is too. I was hoping it wasn't, but unfortunately it is. So, let's keep going. Keep it realistic out here. Show you guys pretty much everything I find, so. Hopefully we can find something good. Absolute crisp signal right here. It's reading like 68. Sounds good though. I think we got it. First scoop. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Have not found too many out in this location, honestly, but it makes sense. Just saw that massive fish, so there's some fish in here. Fishing sinker, big boy. All right, here's another one. This one actually wasn't too far from the pull tab. Target ID 48, 53, 42, 61, all over the place. Not very consistent. I don't know if I have it. It's kind of irony now in the hole. Huh. Doesn't sound very good anymore. Let me see. Take another scoop down on it. Come on. I think I might have missed it again. Where are you, little buddy? All 
iron. I think we got it this time. It's in the scoop. I think. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, guys, it's a ring. It's a ring. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, that actually looks freaking beautiful. That actually looks beautiful. That's definitely, that's probably silver. I'm not going to say definitely. You don't want to get bummed out. Those might be real diamonds in there. Those actually look nice. I don't know if it's supposed to be curved like that. Maybe I just tinked it trying to dig it out. Yes, dude. It's got like one, two, three, four, five main stones right there in it. And then uh, some like little accent stones too. Finally, man. Yes. Been out here probably over two hours. We finally got a ring. That's what's up. That one's definitely worth uh, checking out a little bit closer. We'll like get a get a better look on it and the wrap up. Man, that thing did not sound very good either. <laughs> oh, we got another one. Too good to be true, right? There's no way you're gonna get two in a row. It's happened to me before, but please start getting on the Christmas spirit. Last time I was humming, please, 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 please. Not too bad, actually. Penny is better than a pull tab, I think. 2003 Penny right there. Abraham. Hello, Abraham. That ring got me in a good mood now, man. All right, here is a another bobby pin, but the longer they stay in the water too, the sharper they get. They literally almost turn into nails down there, so it's good to pull them out, I guess. Bobby pin. Got another bouncy one in here. It's giving me like a couple of negative numbers. I will say that it doesn't sound particularly good, but it's a signal in the water, so we're digging up every single signal we get in the water, iron included. We got it. First scoop. No, I don't see it in there. You guys see it? Uh oh. Oh. Might have been small. I think it came out of the scoop. I'm not sure. Let's try to get another scoop on it. I mean, the tone actually sounds decent. It sounds small, but. in there uh, again I don't see it you guys see it it'll be a little bit of a struggle on this one no oh. reminds me of like some part of an earring maybe like the main earring or the earring stud it's very small let's fight it again for a little bit see if we can maybe get it there it is, there it is, it was. I knew it. I freaking knew it. Holy smokes. That looks like a really nice one too. Look at the stone in that one. Imagine we get double diamonds today. Um, I don't know if this earring is precious. It's not really like crusted or corroded, so that's always a good sign. We'll check him on the wrap up too, see what we got. Do we have gold? That would be amazing, but. I doubt it. Might be silver if we're lucky. Little signal though. I almost walked by it. I'm glad that I got this scoop, man. The earring catch scoop saved me on that one. Iron. I almost just dropped that one back in the water. Look at this one. This one was an iron signal, but check it out. Little earring right there, man. The ugliest earring I think I've ever seen. <laughs> it's a little square. Crusty boy, crusty. Still finding stuff. That was a little bit of karma because it was giving me an iron signal. Thought it was a nail. Just a crusty earring and another iron signal and i'm looking in this basket right looking around for the signal i don't think it's in there can you guys see anything in there because i think i spot it in here i think it's right here don't fall through don't fall through i think it's right there come on <laughs> it's so small it looks pretty much just like a rock i was about to dump it back in the water there it is there it is look at it 
It's so small. It's a little cross, miniature cross right there. I've been finding quite a few crosses recently, so there's another one, earring variety. <laughs> Keep digging up those signals, man. There's still stuff out here to be found. Another earring, add them to the pouch. Still haven't really submerged the uh, Xterra, so just getting a little chilly in the water. On this one again, I'm looking at my scoop like, where is it? And I look off to the side, I think this is it. Oh, uh, yep, looky there. Another just piece of uh, portion of jewelry. It's just the clasp off of something and like the little string, probably a stretchy bracelet for a kid. The essence of jewelry. All right, digging up another iron signal and we have another earring right there. Absolutely crusted, I think. It's got a little bit of gray though. I guess it could be silver if we're really lucky. Add it to the pouch, possible iron. Let's see about this one. Oh my, dude, this is, this looks exactly like the earring I found on the last hunt. That literally looks identical to another earring I just found. <laughs> it looks like a freaking nail, like a thumbtack. Okay, another earring, iron signal on an iron signal. Nobody's digging the iron signals out here. Junk jewelry for me, it's not worth anything really, but it's still kind of fun to find, you know? It adds some jewelry to your tally count at the end of the day, so I'll continue trying to dig them up. All right, this one actually sounds way better. It's a low conductive signal. If any signal has a chance to be gold today, could maybe be this one. Realistically, probably foil. Still in there. Come on. Sounds good on the tone though. It's like a little bit bouncy, but still sounds pretty good. That's exactly why I never get excited for any signals. Those sound amazing. Peel and lift. <laughs> Some junk. This one's kind of odd. It's giving me, if you swing over it just right, it's like not a consistent number, but kind of a nice tone. But if you go too wild on it, it gives you an iron signal. Try to get a scoop on it. Come on. Sounds, I guess, kind of smallish. I think we might have it. Oh, do I see it right there? There it is. There it is. It's right there. Ooh, what is that? That might be silver. That's probably silver being that color, huh? It's got like three little green stones in it. Maybe it's like some type of a discount earring or something. I guess. I don't know for sure if that's silver, maybe just junk jewelry, but it's got that uh, all unique gray tarnish like silver gets. Could those be emeralds in there? <laughs> Probably not. It's kind of odd, you know? Anyways, finally, nice. Another piece after like 20 pieces of iron. Perfecto. There's another piece of iron. Some junk. Piece of iron. Climb my way out of the water. Spent about an hour in there. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head home and we're gonna check out these finds we got today. I wanna know, did we find any gold or silver? I think that one ring is almost guaranteed silver, but I got a couple other oddities I wanna check out. So I'll meet you guys when we get home. Let's check out what we got today, hey? So we have a little bit of good news and a little bit of bad news. Which news do you want first? I think we're just going to give you the bad news first. So this ring right here, um, on the way home, I guess, when I had it in my pouch at some point, it lost one of the little stones in there. So that's kind of unfortunate. But the good news is that uh, I tested those stones and those stones are not real at least, so we're not missing, uh, missing a real diamond. That's just probably a cubic zirconia in there. 
Another good news on this though is, as you guys can see, I cleaned it up a little bit and it's definitely silver, Mark 925 in the inside of the band, so kind of a nice one. This one I did a little bit of cleaning up on too, this um, what I think is an earring. Uh, again, kind of a nice little one right there, I'm thinking silver on that one. The belly button ring is stainless steel, and then this earring right here I do believe also is silver gold plated. So. We had a pretty good day out there, cleaned up some trash. Every one of these little pieces are one whole dug. So if you guys appreciate my attempt out there at cleaning up some trash and finding some treasure, I always appreciate a thumbs up on the videos. Motivates me to continue to get out there and make some more for you guys. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope to see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.